Saying no wasn't a big part of my upbringing. Not as the eldest daughter, the Ada. It was always, yes. Yes, mom, yes, dad, yes, sir, yes, ma'am. Yes to elders pinching the soft of your arm demanding more drink or chin chin. Yes to coaches that bench you and blatantly play politics. Yes to biased teachers and shitty supervisors. Yes to endless requests from siblings and cousins. Yes, 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 yes you obey. Yes you comply, yes you submit. Yes, you don't openly question, yes. This is how you show respect to others. Thankfully, with time and age and experience and my personal boundaries bloodied by decades of obeying, complying, and submitting, I finally started asking the question, how the hell do I show respect to myself? What you allow, you teach. At least that's what my mentor in college told me. Back then I didn't understand that the what you allow part requires a careful examination of all the cracks in your so-called boundaries where you repeatedly let things slip to save face. Over the last five years, the cracks in my so-called boundaries have split at the center, causing me to take a serious look at my part to play in the erosion. I played the big sister role, mother role, emotional dumping ground role in a lot of my relationships, which has left me feeling lonely, used, and completely misunderstood. Before rebuilding anything, I've had to face the fact that I've wrongfully expected people to read my mind because if they were better friends, family members, and complete strangers, they would change their behavior without their behavior having to be addressed. This wish upon star ass thinking has proven to be both ineffective and unreasonable. So that means I've had to open my mouth and use real words and say how I feel with clarity and assertiveness when I've been practicing passivity to the point of blow-ups my entire life. This shit, this boundary shit, is hard. But I don't want to harbor unnecessary resentment anymore. It eats away at your inside. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. I would love to know how you are navigating boundaries this season and what advice you would give. I think I am for the first time in my life truly taking up space in that way in staking claim as to what I like, what I don't like, and how I want to be treated. That's already uncomfortable in general. But when you combine that with being the eldest daughter of immigrant parents, it's like boss level discomfort. So navigating that landscape of cultures where any pushback for certain people, for certain elders, is considered disrespectful, uh, has been interesting to say the least. Familiar waters to healthy boundaries is discomfort. It is feelings of guilt. It is feelings of, oh, I'm being mean. Oh, what would this person think? It is predicting what they'll say before they say it. All of that is normal. Even people that are fantastic at setting boundaries all have these, this bubbling up of discomfort that happens before addressing behavior head on or addressing what somebody said head on. Don't let that deter you from actually having that conversation. What's helped a lot in navigating boundaries for me has been Paying close attention to my language. This book in particular, Set Boundaries, Find Peace, has been a fantastic resource. Dr. Nidra suggested that instead of using like, I'd like you to, I'd like you to, you use aff affirmative, assertive language. I, I want, I need, I expect. And just even that shift has, has helped me pay attention to where I'm requesting versus where I'm actually setting a boundary. Like, I, I want you to stop talking about my body. I want you to stop making comments about my hair. I expect to be listened to in this relationship uh, in the same way that hopefully I'm listening to you. All of this has been extremely helpful. The, these are small things that we can change. It doesn't have to be some monumental, like you're, you're some boundary setting beast all of a sudden because you read one book. It is the tiny itty bitty steps that you take in creating space for yourself. And eventually you'll end up with room with room in your relationships. I cannot wait to come through the, the 
the comment section on this one to see how you're actually navigating boundaries, what has been a blocker to that, um, and what advice you would give, what, what has been helping you in navigating those relationships and, and also setting those healthy boundaries. I can't wait, I cannot wait to read this one. All right, we're building such an archive of understanding here and I can't wait to see you for question three. Short number three, letter number three. You're amazing, okay. I'm gonna go finish that up so I can have it to you on Sunday, all right.